and Olsek is in the rain, so potentially the man to take third is taking his shots for the final time with the rifle. Aaron's pushing himself as hard as he can. The legs will be burning, the arm will be burning, the lungs will be burning. His desire to be world champion as well as Paralympic champion will be burning just as brightly. This man would love it. But this guy has been phenomenal here in Prince George. It might be Aaron's home nation, but he has every intent on making it six individual medals. All coloured gold. Pablo Trio has learnt some lessons through this World Championships. A debut World Championships for the 21-year-old student. His target is to have uh, gained enough experience to be a contender for medals at the next Paralympic Games. That's Alexander Ehler. Going away and everybody now looking on, waiting for the finish between Davier and Ahrens. That's Olsen. He's won a medal at six of the seven world championships he's competed at since 2003. That's Nils Eric Olsen. Look at the nerves of these Canadians just watching on. They'll have seen what was happening at the range. Yeah, trust me, the only reason they're smiling is because they're on the big screen in the venue as well. Everybody is waiting for the final of this one to get into the last 100 metres. Aaron's needs to be as far away as that from Davier as he can be, but I'm not sure that the quick Frenchman's going to allow that. Disappearing out of shot, Carl Barber still going around, just taking a moment to get to his knees and try and get the breathing steadied off again through that downhill section. Anything that had a maple leaf on it was brought from the house or handed out here at the venue. There's some more. Carl Barber coming through the start line. He'll be going to the range for one final time. Again, the Canadian support for all of their athletes has been tremendous. Barber moving through. Look at the determination on the face of Mark Ahrens here. He is digging deeper, perhaps, than he had to in the games. He will know that Davier is breathing down his neck. Davier will have had to make time up. That could be a contributing factor to tiredness. Here is Davier. He doesn't look tired, does he? Phenomenal work rate from the Frenchman. And is he just too close to Mark Aaron's here? Into the finish line. Come the start of the male athletes. 45 is Alexander Gerlitz. Behind him, Vovchinsky, who will be nervously waiting to see if he has a bronze medal time. There's Aaron's. He's ahead of Romaniuk, but it's the shot in the distance. Can we see Davier there? No, we can't. That's a good sign for Mark Ahrens as he starts to round the final few corners. Cross the line goes Sato. Here he comes then. Mark Ahrens is inside of the finish line. Canadians everywhere cheering him on. That's not Davier behind him, which is great news. Wolchinski's time at the moment, 44-26. There is Davier though. 
Look at the determination from Allens. He's got a cross, but now he's got a wait. He'll look behind him and know that here comes Davier. These two are warriors, absolute warriors. And look at the speed. After 15 long kilometers, Davier is digging as far down as he can, and he will take the gold. Oh, and look at that. That is what you call maximum effort, maximum output, maximum gold medal so far. Five world championship gold medals. And I pretty much guarantee, look at the sportsmanship here from Mark Arams. But I will guarantee you, this is the hardest one he's won. A minute taken off in the rage and a competitor that deserves this embrace. Oh, absolute respect between the two of them. Contrasting impairments, Mark Ahrens with the singular use of a ski pole. You see the impairment for Benjamin Davier in the left leg. And Mark Ahrens, well, he says, what more can I do? What more can I do to beat this guy? I'm sure Mark Ahrens arrived here in Prince George, dreaming of a world championship title in his home country. He perhaps has had nightmares about Benjamin Davier. Coming in here is Stefan Lemke. <laughs> Davier's just about up to his feet properly now. His competitor, his friend, took the skis off for him. And Davier, well, he's worked his socks off, hasn't he? This is Mark Ahrens. The face said it all as he came in. Huge cheers, huge applause. Huge encouragement as he got to the line. But he only had to turn around for a matter of moments and see that Davier was coming. See the pain that Davier is in. He's really, really been put to the sword. Alexander Ehrler coming in at the moment. Wojcinski has the bronze medal position, but Nils Erik Olset might have something to say about that. The Maniuk's time is going to be beaten by Ehler. Ehler at 40-43 should drop into sixth position. And Ehler feeling it a little bit. As we said, Aaron's was a face of determination. Oh, and well, maybe a face of desperation from Davier, who just collapsed through the finish line. 